Welcome back guys. Happy holidays. Today we are going over a gift guide. <laughs> I'm showing you what I'm giving people for Christmas. These are actual gifts that I have purchased or will purchase. I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting of showing you what I'm actually giving people. I've looked at tons of gift guides in my Black Friday, Cyber Monday shopping. I haven't done all my shopping yet, but for the most part, I've got everything pretty much squared away. So we're gonna go over what I'm giving for Christmas and I hope this gives you guys ideas, specifically gifts that don't suck. You know, and it's hard to say because any gift is a good gift, but from somebody like me who loves giving, I love giving people gifts, I wanna put some intention behind it. Let's jump in if I can. Okay, I have my laptop here because I have things in categories and I just have links open from things that I've already bought. I'm going to break this up by category. First category is going to be kind of for all girls, ladies, girls, girl, that type of thing. Like this can apply to anybody, but this is specifically geared towards women. First thing are these glass bamboo cups. So they are from Pippi Post and I've got, I bought two of these actually for two of my friends, specifically the magical, <laughs> the magic school textbook. It's pretty much Harry Potter. They can't say Harry Potter, but it's Harry Potter themed books around this glass. It's really cute, I think. I'm looking down, that's why, guys. I'm just looking down at the link here. It's a useful gift, and it's also something I know they're also big Harry Potter fans as well. And I paired that gift with these bookmarks. I got them two different. Each of them has its specific bookmark. We are all big fans of Fourth Wing. Uh, fourth wing series and period series and so I got the bookmark as well so they're both book related for maybe the girl in your life that likes books likes to read I think these would be a great place to start next gift I have our jewelry from Ana Luisa thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video you guys know this is not the first time you've heard me talk about Ana Luisa and I got three rings here that I'm going to be gifting let me just put them all on and I'll show you. These are the rings. This one is the Capella. This is the Rope Slim. And this is the Haley. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Ana Luisa. All of their jewelry has held up. Every piece that I bought for them in the past year has all held up. I'm wearing the earrings right now. Like I said, their quality is amazing. These pieces are long lasting, tarnish resistant. You have pieces starting as low as $39. They have a two year warranty in all of the pieces. So if you give it as a gift and anything goes wrong, there's no problem replacing it, exchanging it. Shipping is super easy. So I highly recommend Anna Luisa. Okay, I'm feeling kind of like a kingpin with all the rings on one hand. Let me, let me readjust here. But having their biggest sale right now up to 35% off on their website. Guys, these make such good gifts like i want to keep them for myself but i'm not i'm gifting but highly recommend anna luisa packaging you guys know i love the packaging the packaging is super cute you might not even have to wrap this so check out anna luisa the link is down below in my description box thank you to anna luisa for sponsoring this part of the video right, next thing i'd say a part of this category and i think this is going to be a really good gift for maybe moms or mother-in-laws anything like that are some luxury pjs i feel like at least I'm speaking for myself, it's not something that I spend money on, but if I got a Lux PJ set, any of these, I would be over the moon. You don't have to worry too much about sizing. You People usually want pajamas to be looser, oversized, comfy, that kind of thing. So I don't think you can go wrong for any lady in your life in getting them a pair of Lux PJs. Next thing, the next category is for the foodie in your life, food lover, aren't we all in your life? So I have a few things here. I also really hope my friends and family aren't watching this because you're about to get spoiled. View at your own risk. Okay, so I just got this. Is this not the cutest thing? This hot sauce print. So I bought the digital print on Etsy and then I had it printed out and framed and I think I'm going to pair it with her favorite type of hot sauce. It's going to be the gift for one of my friends. I got this. I don't really want to unpack it, but I got this cute little noodle bowl. This is from, I think this is from TJ Maxx. Maybe I picked it up from TJ Maxx. Um, but my friend loves ramen, so I got her just this cute little noodle bowl that comes with the chopsticks. And then, these don't necessarily go together, but just knowing who she is as a person, I got her this pen set and it's shaped as boba tea. She loves boba, so the bottom of it is like boba, but the pen like goes into it as the straw. 
I think this is so cute. This is also a great stocking stuffer as well. Also for this category, this is something that I'm still looking into because I have found one that I would like, but I'm looking for my friend who also has a dog. These ones specifically are English Bulldog Silhouette Cookie Cutters. You guys know I have an English Bulldog. He's not actually over here right now. So if your friend is a dog owner, has pets, cats, whatever, you can find a cookie in the shape of their dog. If they're an Australian Shepherd, if they're a Bernese, if they're a Golden, if they're a Chihuahua, if you could find a cookie shape cutter in the shape of the dog, <laughs> amazing. Next thing in the foodie category, either this Graza oil or the Brightland oil. I'm thinking maybe both. And these are just getting so popular. I have the Grazin one actually personally that I use for cooking. These are going around everywhere and I think they are actually a really good gift because it's something that they're gonna use and it just, if they already like to cook, if they're big into food, then this just adds like ooh, a nice little layer to it. Next category is custom gifts. So I freaking love Etsy. Etsy is the king of this kind of thing. Two of my friends are big Taylor Swift fans. Taylor's version of 1989 came out recently and both of my friends that is their favorite Taylor Swift album so I got them these mugs except it's gonna say their name like instead of Taylor's version it's gonna say their name's version and then the year that they were born 1993 for all of us so if they are Swifty I know quite a few Swifties I'm sure we all do this I'm very excited for their reaction because I'm really thinking they're gonna like it next thing these are two similar things one of these is great if you know somebody that is a teacher, doctor, anybody that maybe writes notes, writes things down, I think this would be a really good gift. So let's say your friend is Janine Teagues who works at Abbott Elementary. This is a custom notepad that says, that says a note from Mrs. Teagues, something like that. I think that is such a cute gift for a teacher. I'm assuming teachers are still writing little things down, but I thought that was something that, that was really custom and creative and really kind of thoughtful for them. Something that I'm getting my work secret Santa um, is a guy who's higher up than I am position wise. So I was like, what the hell do I get this guy? I don't know. I don't know a ton about him. So I thought it'd be safe because he's, you know, in a higher management role and he is in a lot of meetings. So I also got him a custom notepad, but it says from the desk of let's say Gregory Eddy is his name. I got that custom notepad. And then I also got a really nice fountain pen. I'll insert the photo, but it's in this really nice box, nice fountain pen. And at, at the very least, it's like you write stuff down eventually. So I feel like it's a safe bet for somebody that you know, maybe don't know that well, but maybe it's a work secret Santa, a nice pen, a cute notepad. I think you can't go wrong with that. Fitness. But for all the fitness people in your life, male or female, I feel like these suggestions can be good, would be good options. So first one being adjustable weights. Guys, these are very pricey, very pricey. I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I'm going to, I'm just, you know, do you ever just like kind of gear up like, okay, I got to spend this money. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with this gift. But I just know the person that I'm giving this, giving this to does not, does not go to a gym. They do a lot of home workouts and I know don't have probably the space for a whole rack of dumbbells. So this one is adjustable. It's just two, it's just like a set of two and that you're able to kind of tick them and adjust the weight. So you can have like 10 or so different weights, but you just have the one dumbbell, if that makes sense. So it's an investment, but if you know somebody that would really like this and they don't go to the gym and they're more of a home workout person, this could be a really good gift. Second thing, which is actually a stocking stuffer, and I would pull it out, but I already stuffed it into the stocking, so I don't know if I want to do that, is a digital jump rope. And so these ones are, I'm seeing them a lot actually. They just track how many jumps that you do, as well as the, the calories that you burn, the speed of it. It's all pretty intricate. Again, if you like somebody that likes to do home workouts or like even brings them to the gym, but they want to keep track of these kind of metrics, I think this would be really cool. Actually, what I'm giving this year for gifts, guys, I'm hoping these gifts are a little bit unique, a little bit more creative, gifts that don't suck. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. Take advantage of their sale up to 35% off. The link is down in my description box. Check out this other video here where I just went over some holiday favorites that I think could also make really good gifts as well. And I'll see you guys in that one.